SK Fishman. SK Fishman. What is SK Fishman? SK Fishman is the mindset of somebody or the condition that somebody make to step a choice to uh, step out the status quo and li want to live in his own reality a lot of people have been very creative a lot of artists a lot of musicians that can be qualified as escapism escapists Is escapism something wrong? No. Escapism is just creativity. Escapism is, in its essence, creativity. Only the People that are uh, being excluded in escapism because most people been in small or less amount escapists. Actually, businessmen are also escapists because they're still not in reality and that think that they can do anything and that don't harm somebody or something else. And that has been always good what they do. Well, because the corrupt system is a board. You can also watch like a little bit of escapism. That escapism in the most kind of way that people look to it is actually that somebody live with his mind in one reality that they've created himself. For example, a reader that um, writes music, a songwriter or a reader of fantasy books that only want to talk or live in their fantasies and don't want to hear the words and the talks of and annoy the world around them. For example, um, one thing what um, Tolkien, the, re the, the writer of um, the books of Lord of the Rings, His personality, you can also see as a form of escapism. A lot of times, when he was alone, he amused himself with um, making languages of his own. The, um, Languages of the elves and the dwarves, the ills in me on. With always all fantasies that they have, all things we think about and think how it can be an all, can it be a planet, or can it be a universe, or something like that. Escapism 
is actually an escapist is actually iemand die the air to live and be themselves and not legends or or well to words the world around him. Escapism is actually quite funny. When I was young, I was an extreme dreamer, an escapist. I don't like school. I was in school so I have the most bad as anything. Alone, I only wanted to talk about very weird stuff. Uh, can you can tell you anything about Greek mythology? I can you also told a lot of uh, Nordic mythology, and I can do that kind of things. I can also tell you a lot of uh, history. It was one of the things that I was good on in school. Um, I was also a very good in escaping from situations that I don't like. Talking in circles. Um, things that was not so good in was uh, rules. Spectacular if the rules are silly or stupid and make no sense at all. I was very bad in things like that. When I was young, I can listen to a lot of bullshit. I, but if I accept the bullshit or listen, there's something wholly different. I like to hear crazy stories. When I was young, I read also on the internet a lot of creepy pastas and a lot of um, <laughs> rumors about mythology and, uh, no and monsters and legends and all the crazy stuff and a lot of very crazy stuff. Things that people, <laughs> normal people share it off. I like to watch. I like to research. And then sometimes when I was young, because I don't understand why people be afraid of that, I always I in my mind, why you been afraid of that? Is that truly something why you been have to be afraid of that? For example. Why why have some much humans been so scared for spiders? Are you aware that humans kill hum other humans more than other other species? In one year in all America five people become beaten and thereby die from sharks. But the sharks don't eat uh, humans. Sharks uh, play our only sharks have a lot of teeth and give you uh, scars uh, and therefore sometimes if you don't bend your be your leg uh, so that the blood not uh, escape you can bleed to die but that is that's how it's usually been uh, shark will, will look and actually if you watch it the other side there have been a lot of uh, similarities between the sounds and noises in the water that we make and the eat the eat in the food that sharks actually eat and shark can see that's different sharks don't like human flesh actually most sharks don't like humans we be very dirty and we may not their taste And the most sharks also don't eat things that being bigger than their mouth. 
Yeah. And if you don't want to believe me, watch the documentary Sharkwater. Very interesting documentary. Very interesting. And now humans like to actually stories. It's something that humans like. Look, look in history. A lot of people in all history go together with each other around a long big fire and listen to one that they told the story. And anybody say, yo, that's, that's, that's funny, that's good. I love that story. Tell the story again. And stories become legends. And legends become religion. And religion become the religions become research. And the research become science. And the societies become from small groups of people in little villages and the little villages become later on bigger villages and they become cities small cities then bigger cities with uh, one king or one uh, Presidents in the cities that become countries. The countries become lands. The lands become they become. Um, States and the states that become cults again because they all believe that their system is perfect and that they don't can learn something from others and this is also how it works people don't protect all your foolies any miserable fool that have nothing to be proud of Find, try to find a last sort to try to be proud of. Find an escape in the country where he is born. And protect all his foolish, all his mistakes and all his inconsistency. <sighs> Nationalism. Is the greatest hood of cowardness is the is the miserable of the humanity. Is the cancer of humanity. Is a disease with no remedy. Only the only remedy is self. Exception and understanding. Understanding. <laughs> Anything is an illusion. It would be enough if smaller or bigger parts escapists. But the only reality that we have to put, put before ourselves is that we not being more important than other living beings. That the whole world is not our playground. That we don't be gods. We being just monkeys out of control. 
En dan voel je op de finds one thing. One great thing. Respect for the planet where we all live and breathe with each other. Where we all can live in harmony. It doesn't have capitalism. Capitalism is like a bloodsucker. A take, a take, a take, a take, a take. Without poor people, you have no rich people. And without rich people, you have no poor people. The only way that we can have a simple or in a uh, live in a simple relationship with each other is if we not have rich people and have no poor people. So rich people have to give so much that they don't be rich anymore. <laughs> they have to stop to protect old men's property. So stop with war. War is the most stupid thing that humans have ever find. War. War, war, war. We mean the most warlike creature ever created in all history. Humans like to force their insanity on others without thinking, without overthinking. The people in Europe, they have also decided that we have to take anything and that you have to do it. And you have to stop it. Yes. But I shall give you what you want if you don't give me what I want. That's how it works. The only way that we can have peace and harmony on this planet is if we stop with watching any situation from the point of the victimizer and start to watch any situation from the point of the victim. Because the victim's position is always right. The position of the victimizer is not right. The rich people have been not the victims. Companies be not victims. Big multi billionaire industries be not victims. The truth is harsh, but still be the truth. Big banking industries, big industries like the meat, dairy, and egg satanistic demon monster industry, or oil companies that think that it's completely good to suck any drop of oil from the planet and take any gold and any diamonds from the planet because humans are being just like uh, crocs, crocs. they like uh, shiny things they like uh, things that blink we been just like cross, 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 you know. We've been a bunch of monkeys out of control. Bunch of mon of aggressive monkeys that force their well be on other. And that they have to accept it. We've been just like parasites. We've been bullies. We've been terrorists. We've been KKK members, Nazis, and other disposal. <laughs> to the plants and to other humans as well. Of live not in our rich county with cocksuckers and monsters.
Take occasional on the suffering where you spell yourself, you side big crazy business freaks.